Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! We are so glad you are with us today. Jump up and worship with us. Dude. 
glad you came back for our second week of What Can I Do? We're learning that even though we're young, we can do a lot. We know this because God made us that way and knows all about what we can do. Let's find out more by watching our Bible lesson for today. Hey everyone, I'm Amy. I'm Andrew. And today we've got... Wait, 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 I'll do it. A Bible story! You are really excited. Oh, because today's story is featuring Jesus Christ and the crowd went wild. Did they? Well, they will when we tell the story how Jesus came to the earth as a baby, grew up teaching about God, died and was resurrected to put the ultimate smack down on the enemy. Oh, uh, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Uh, this is all true, but not our specific story today. Let's do, though, roll back to where Jesus was born. Oh, wait, where? Yep, over 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born in a little town called Bethlehem, here. Soon after, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, leave Bethlehem and go to Egypt. Stay until I tell you to return, because Herod is gonna search for the child to kill him. Whoa, 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 who is this Herod? Herod was a nasty king who was not into Jesus being born. But because of the heads up, they were safe and stayed in Egypt until Herod died. Ah, King Herod. More like King Hair Dead. Because <laughs> his hair, like his hair's dead. Because he's, because he's dead. That's all. That's never mind. Just keep going with the story. Sorry. So then, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus returned to the land of Israel. But he was given a warning in a dream again. Whoa, that is a lot of dreams protecting them. <laughs> Eventually. Jesus' family went and landed in a town called Nazareth. Huh, that sounds beautiful. It was not. No, that's horrible. Nazareth was considered the most backwoods, backwater, the most nowhereville place of all. Uh, yuck, no thank you. <laughs> I'd like my savior to be from somewhere else, please, and thank you. That's what a lot of people said. So let's fast forward to when Jesus was 30. He's walking along and this guy Philip sees him. He knows who he is, and he's so excited, he runs to his friend Nathaniel and says, Come and see our Savior. His name is Jesus, the son of Joseph from Nazareth. Ah, ooh, shouldn't you kind of keep the whole Nazareth thing, you know, a little secret? And that was Nathaniel's response. He said, Nazareth? Can anything good come from Nazareth? Jesus knew Nathaniel felt this way, and while he could have let him have it... Yeah, giving him the whole, like, Jesus rock smash down... He didn't. He talked with Nathaniel, was patient with Nathaniel, and even told him things he knew about him. Oh, man. Old Jesus classing it up. Mm -hmm. Nathaniel was so moved, he began to follow Jesus. He was one of the original 12 disciples who witnessed Jesus' earthly ministry, including the miracles he performed, his death, and his resurrection. Wow. Because Nathaniel was willing to come and see, he experienced that something good had come from Nazareth. The end. Today's story showed Jesus starting to gather disciples. When Philip first met Jesus, he ran to tell Nathaniel because he was so excited. Nathaniel didn't believe Philip at first, but then he learned he could trust Jesus because Jesus knew him and understood him. Jesus knows each of us and Jesus understands us. Even when we feel like no one else around us could understand, Jesus does. We can always talk to him and tell him our struggles. We can trust him to help us. Let's pray and thank God for sending Jesus into the world for us. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son into the world to die for us. And thank you for allowing him to live in a human body and experience the same things that we do so that we can trust him and we know that he understands what we're going through. We're so thankful for you and we love you so much. And everybody said... Amen. Amen. Have a great week. See you, everybody.